22 ballots were cast, 332 votes were needed for election, and the results indicate it's going to be a very big weekend in Cooperstown. Astros fans will be cheering with the election of our first new member, Jeff Bagwell. Welcome to the Hall of Fame. Jeff combined power, consistency, getting on base, and an ability to score runs to become one of baseball's premier first baseman. We, we played the game because we loved to play the game. He loved to play the game. He loved the competition. And, and you know, you didn't do it for the accolades. You didn't do it, you know, uh, to get into the Hall of Fame. But then 15 years later and 20 years later, you're associated together uh, in part of history. Uh, and your legacies are, will always be together. So, I mean, it's, it's very, very humbling. think about baseball and playing baseball and watching baseball it's it's kind of a universal language um, so it, it's it's neat to get together with a bunch of people from all around the country and all around the world and um, you know just to just to celebrate people who have who have done this better than anybody else I grew up in baseball with my dad going to the Houston Buffs games and uh, Bagwell and Biggio have meant a lot to Houston and meant a lot to us. Well, when my kids were little, playing Little League, they always wanted to be Biggio or Bagwell. That was, that was their thing. So, you know, it's fun for us to be able to do this and see um, him be rewarded for all his hard work. And we just, we just love them. They're our Astros. He had very good feet, and very good hands, and we had Caminiti playing third base, and we said we got to find a spot for this kid because he's the best hitter we have. And Bill said, "What do you suggest?" We said, first base." And we only had about ten days left to be ready. He was a little bit reluctant in the beginning, uh, but um, he preferred playing first base in Houston to the alternative of third base in Tucson, which is our triple-A club. When Yogi Berra says that, uh, you know, listen, we need this guy on our team, and then be able to see the ability level in a guy offensively and defensively, and then have the athleticism to be able to convert over to the other side in two weeks. It was a pretty easy transition because Beggy knew he could play. See, that's the thing, Beggy knew he could play. came in and, and kind of solidified that he was going to be in the big leagues for quite a while from right off the bat. Uh, Using the modern statistics, I think you'll have to go back to Lou Gehrig to find a more effective hitter, and he was a good fielder and a good base runner, too. Then he stole the bases that you needed to steal. He didn't just steal 50 bases, most of them meaningless. He stole the base when we needed it. Bagwell steals it. He's a 30-30 he man. You know, magnificent things on the field, but it was never... It was never a fist pump. It was never a, a bat flip. Um, it was always, this is what I'm supposed to do. The team expects me to produce for them. I'm in the middle of the part of the order, and I'm going to go out there and do it. So his uniform's constantly dirty. He's constantly sweating. He is, he is fully engaged in the game. Oh, there it is. The Astros have won the Central Division title. Everybody can look what he has accomplished in the game, but the person that, that he was off the field too. Great person, great teammate, uh, great leader. And I think those are the little things, you know, that people don't get to see. The most important thing is Baggy cared. And a lot of people don't realize that he was our leader in the clubhouse. And I mean, obviously on the field as well. Baggy was more of a big brother type where, you know, if something went wrong, you know, he'd pull you off onto the side and put his arm around you and, you know, talk to you more that way. He's very understated. And if he said, we don't do things like that around here, then players, players listen. And that's the definition of leadership. Oh, but he cared about the team and the organization. I mean, that, that's, what, that's what he has meant so much to this organization, getting them back on track and a winning, a winning program. To me, the thing that stands out about Jeff is just his physical toughness and the, the willingness to, to play every day, to go out there when he was less than 100%, especially late in his career with his shoulder. I couldn't believe that anybody could play with that kind of an injury. And that speaks mostly to, to mind over matter. For he and I personally, to be able to feel her blood, sweat, and tears 
for 15 years to finally get there. You know, we had one goal and one dream, and that was to get to the World Series together. Astros are going to the 05 World Series. Oh, man, oh, man. It was all about the game, all about the team. And that's why it was so rewarding for us. Celebrate, you bet they are. We would sit there at the table or watch the games. My dad would talk about his favorite player, Ted Williams. We talk about Yaz, we talk about Fisk, we talk about Rice, we talk about Boggs. What we were doing was spending quality time together as a family. And if I could have given you guys anything for being at the dinner table or going to a game and to watch us play and to watch me play, and I brought some joy in a world that can be tough sometimes, and it brought our families together, then I did my job.